hello guys so in today's video i'll show you how to play football fantasy so if you don't first have the app so it's the premier league game for fantasy football so you're going to go search for premier league on google play store and then this is the app so this is the app uh, the premier league official app if you don't have your phone does not have enough storage for it you can download the other one is fantasy This one here fantasy football manager fpl so this one is for if your phone it does not have enough ram or storage to be able to perform uh, to host a lot of apps or host this app so this is this alternative it's called fantasy football manager fpl just 8 mb i think this one is 60 mb so let me go and open it so once you open it you can see the interface how it looks so this is the how it's going to look so you can see the first picture will be on match week one and it will be manchester united versus fulham so i support this chelsea versus man city so to build a fantasy football team you are going to at the bottom you can see there's a menu click on it says fantasy so this game you are, you, are, you play against your friends and you are given a hundred million in like this game cash so you're supposed to, supposed to pick a team that's under that under the 100 million so to get started you're going to click on here it says pick team then choose the entire team name so let me enter mine and then i accept the terms and conditions then i'm going to click on i accept then select name so i'll also leave a joining code for the i'll create a link for the channel so if you're interested you can join so you can see uh, the deadline is 16th august so august has not even yet started 29th of august of july sorry so you can see the squad is incomplete my team name that Vader and my bank balance and also have an autocomplete so you can click on auto autocomplete and the team is going to be selected automatically so let me start by selecting like my my team so i'll start with the backbone of the team these are players that i'm not going to be changing regularly and they bring a lot of value so i'll start with players that i think will give a lot of performance a lot of money so let me start with like Haaland and then the midfield I'll go for somebody else who is also like uh, somebody who can give me a lot of points inside the season so I'll go with Palma and then in defense I'm not going to I don't invest a lot in defense I'll just pick an, an average player so who started with that so I'll pick maybe this Gabriel and then the goalkeeper will pick a very good goalkeeper so you can see we have a of version i don't want to invest a lot in a single club i want the maximum you can have in one club is three players so i think i'll go with uh i'm sorry by total points last season so pickford was the one with the most points and raya then leno so i'll go with leno now I have the backbone of my team, so these are players I'm not going to be changing anytime soon. So I'll go and fill out the other parts. So let me go start with the forward. So I'm, I still have 63.5. So uh, attackers are quite expensive in this like game. So I'm going to pick like I don't know if I can sort it out also with also it's sorted with points. Eh? So I'll pick somebody who is cheap but can offer a lot of goals I won't pick Watkins because I don't think he will be able to play like he played last season so I'll go with somebody like let me place this Kunha from Woods eh? and then let me first finish with this back line i go here i pick among the cheapest goalkeepers because the goalkeepers you can find for cheap it can be sorted by value but i want it to be total points so i want somebody who yes like this guy for brentford he's quite cheap and he offered a lot of points so the defense i'm also going to pick somebody who is cheap let me start with this guy since they are not going to be playing a lot then let me enter this Fabian Shah and then 
that money is dwindling at a very big rate. So after that I'll go Let me enter this guy. Now let me enter. So I'll go with this guy since he's 5 million. There's no another force. I don't invest a lot in the like backline. And now here I'll pick somebody of 4. 4.5 or 4 below 4. If I can find a 3.9. So the money is like dwindling and I've not even selected a lot of players. I'll go with Val. So for I'll pick just somebody because this is somebody who's going to be on the bench a lot of times. Maybe this Taylor guy. Now we just have 33 million and we have how many positions to fill? Like uh, these are four, five. So I'll go to mid two. Let me sort out by points. So I also need another like strong player. I don't know, I'll pick Gordon. Then what let me first pick another like who's a cheap player but can offer a lot of points. These are people who even don't play. I think I'm, I'd love to sell like Haaland and get another player. Because these players are overpriced. Let me just go to the midfield. Let me add somebody else. So let me sort by points again. So midfield, I usually want people who can score a lot. Let me click on replace. I've not selected this guy. So as you know, I've, I've not selected, I'll, I'll pick Saka, Saka scores penalties a lot. Then, now we have 16, this is harder. So we can go like 4-4, four, four. that's it, so I can start with somebody of 8 or 6 or something. We sort by points last season, because I think good players are consistent in providing the points, so it's not going to be like a one thing thing. Of Rodri, Rodrigo, okay, Bruno Guimaraes. I don't know if he, this guy is going to like do what he did last season. So I don't know who I'm going to pick here, but I think I'll go with Boy. Since I, I don't want the team now, we have eight point four. So I'm going to search just for two. These are people who are going to be on the bench a lot of the time. So we search for four point five. Mm -hmm. These are people I usually like don't even invest in the bench. So the next player we have is nobody of four. Wait, what? The minimum is four point five. Oh, let me buy this Renato Vieg. Cannot afford that player. So I'm going to search for somebody who can replace and bring in somebody of four. So this Anderson guy, I think he's going to go. I search for somebody of four. Four four. Total points five five. So Gilchrist. I don't think this guy is going to be playing anymore. 
Wait, king is four. Let me place this and insert king there. And then there was that guy I've seen. I don't know the what to do about that. I know this guy is going to be playing a lot. So I'll insert him. Yeah, so my team now is ready. You see my squad value is five. Now I'm not going to this guy. Because I don't think he's going to like perform that much. So I'll search for somebody else for 6.5. Chris Wood is hey 131. Sort by points, eh? So it's between these two because I don't know. So either Brentford or this other guy, Chris Wood. So I'll pick this with a guy. Or who do I pick? I think pick this guy. I think he's going to replicate his form from, from last season. And then we have. 0 0.5 million. I think we can upgrade our slot again. Okay? So let me search for here yeah, defense. We can search for somebody else. So this is the place where you're supposed to like. I'm making very bad choices here with some players, but you're supposed to find where that you'll find the most value of your man with the least amount of money. So I think let me sort again by points. So I think this is by points. So let me return this Anderson guy. I think that team is ready. It's ready, it's ready, it's ready. It's ready. Please enable push notification. So if you enable this, you're going to find decent emails and no problem. So now I think my team is ready. Let me check. Yeah, so I think my team is ready. So that's how you pick a team. So if you want to do like transfers, eh, you're just going to click on the player, then you are going to no, let me first show you how to captain. So to captain, you can see my player is captain duty. Now to vice captain, you are going to let me vice captain Saka. Yeah. So that's how you captain a player. And then who am I going to change here? So this bench, I'm not even going to be changing a lot because I usually work with the first eleven a lot. Now after you are done, you're just going to click on confirm. Now our team is ready. So if you want to do transfers, you're going to come here and click on transfers. Then click on a player like this one. Then click on replace. Now you search for another player. So you can sort out. There's a top menu here if you can see it. There's a top menu of form, value, selection, game week, one points, total points, ICT index. So if you want to sort maybe by the value, just click on value and you can see it changes. So can use that you can use form you can see now this one is zero zero since the league has not yet started but once the games have started playing you can sort using the form so another thing i don't know if there's any other thing also there are some cards you can be given like this wild card the transfers and everything so that's how you set up your fantasy football team so you ensure the team is below 100 and you are good to go